in this final lecture for optimization, I'm going to cover a few things that are coming out of the list for your final project. Uh, the first of which has to do with optimizing images and any kind of graphics or imagery or anything that you would have in the media library that's associated with the page. You need to go through, and you're probably going to have a lot more than this, you need to go through each of these and make sure that there are keywords associated with them in the alt text and that they also have descript descriptions. Sorry. So this one is a pretty important graphic. So I had done this uh, stuff when I uploaded it and it's it's because it's the main item on a page. There really isn't a lot more text, which I should have more text. Um, but these are the fields that I'm going to be looking for. Okay, and they should be filled in. The alt text should be shorter, not more than four to five words, preferably two to three words. And it should describe briefly what the picture is. It should be a very short phrase that says what the picture is. So if the picture doesn't show up, that's why originally this tag existed. It, you could still figure out what the picture was supposed to be. But search engines can read this. Search engines can't read anything from the surface of a pixelated photo. It's all pixels. They don't know what's in there. So further to that, then, you can add a description, which it's, it's hard to find proper uh, ruling on this kind of stuff from the search engines, but I believe it's the same character limit that most of the search engines have for a meta description for a page. Um, and this, uh, this is going to be, okay, so this is really important that you have this stuff in there. And I have not done the best job optimizing this site and I still have to go back and fill some of this stuff in. So if I go in and I see this in your site, on any more than like a few of the graphics in your media library, you are not going to get those four points for optimizing your photos. It's, and this is one of those things that Yoast, it doesn't do for you, but it still provides you with information about it. And if I go to that page where that graphic is, you're still going to see there's some issues with it. Um, so that's on the pricing page. So there are alternative keywords. Here, I'll go back to visuals so you can see that's there. So there are alternative keywords, but the alternative keywords don't have the focus keywords in there. There's nothing about pricing in the alternative keywords, which is the whole point of the image. So this is something that I would go into and fix further, but that kind of attention would then fall in back into that other category. So, so on that note, that's a good time to, to reference back to the list here. So what I was just showing you was th this additional four points right here in the list that you can get from optimizing the images. And then when I talked about the extra attention you might pay to the overall optimization of your site, where you're matching up, like you, that's how you get the Yoast plugin to, 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 to a, the level of green, right? You actually show it that you're matching up the focus keywords anywhere you can. So that kind of activity would fall more into the 20 points where just having the alt keywords in the description would earn you this extra four points. And then further to that, there's another two points for having titles and links and another two points for attempting to or properly using headings in a hierarchy sort of format if you can. Um, so going back to my site to use the same example, I had a pretty good page there uh, where I was working on density uh, with you guys. Can't find pages, my brain has completely ceased to function. Um, and that was the one that dealt with uh, the overall content of the site, the about page. So within that, I have a heading one, and then I have a heading two, and then I have some more heading twos, and then I have a heading three, and I think I even had a heading four in there somewhere. And then I have all this stuff, which is in a list, and then a paragraph tag. So every time the focus keywords occur, or recur, sorry, in, in these different tags, it's better optimized as opposed to having it recur over and over and over again within the same tag, which then it bumps your density up. Now my density is a little low right now because I haven't matched up the exact phrasing of the keywords properly in these different tags. So it's not finding them. It does appear throughout the site, but it's not finding the exact match. A lot of you had very, very little content. And the focus keyword just repeated itself like five or six times over again. So it was telling you that your density was at like 15%. And that's actually a bad thing too. So it can be too low and too high, right? 
and it doesn't really give you like it does with the length where it says more than 300 words is like the ideal length it just says that 0.2 percent is too low now something between three and four percent would probably be pretty good maybe even between two and four percent um who who is it somebody had 15 somebody else had nine percent there just wasn't enough other content to like kind of counteract what was going on there and it just it gets to a point where it just repeats itself too many times and the search engine just assumes it's duplicate content not the kind of duplicate content you have where you've duplicated two websites entirely but it's just repeat content over and over in a page and that's a, a tactic that people used to use before the algorithms for the search engines were clever enough to figure out they were just shamelessly repeating it right which is i heard a rumor that people at universities professors are still teaching this as a good optimization skill it is not okay and the yoast plugin is up to date they're wise to these things so they know that your density at this level is a little too low you want to probably get it up to a whole number but once you're approaching 10 percent, it's too much okay so that's something i would work on as well but part of that was doing using the headings in hierarchy hierarchy format and i don't have in heading one the focus keywords which is not that great so i'd probably want to get them in there and work them in there somehow and then go back through the rest of the site and fix it because I think where it comes up in the site, I have stop words in it, like uh and the, and I have taken the stop words out of the actual focus keyword in the title. So and it, Yoast wants it to match up, like exactly. I'm not sure at that point that it makes that much of a difference, but it kind of feels good to get that green shading it, with the Yoast plugin. It's almost like playing a game and you're winning. Um, so that was another, uh, another couple marks that you can get and that was the one down here uh, nearing the end of the optimization stuff and then in the middle here you can do your link titles hang on one sec so link titles which I'll show you and then we'll, we'll end this video um, can be done in the code view you can't really add them in WordPress and I talked about uh, on Wednesday how you got to make sure first of all that you have some absolute links and in your point breakdown I do make a reference to having at least a couple absolute links and when you do have absolute links to other people's sites, even though not a lot of the optimization articles I'm reading these days, not a lot of people talk about the title tag anymore in links. In fact, Yoast used to actually give you the option to put that in, and now they don't anymore. So, but I still think it's worth putting in there, and it should be coded in manually. So if I go to a page where I have an external link, um, which would be that page on zoning right here, if I go to the visual on that, you can see in the link, and it, it, it's weird. Um, I don't know why WordPress always does this. They always move the title into the front of the hyperlink, like the hyperlink tag after I put it in there, which I usually type it in like after the target blank. And remember that all absolute links should open up as target blank. That's where you do something extra. You could put the title tag. It's like the property value thing with the quotes. So equals everything after equals has to have quotes around it and you give it a short description not 150 characters it should be more like the alt text for an image and that will then come up like if i view this page uh, that will come up when i hover over the link but it's also another place where the search engines can read additional content so i'd like to see that for a couple extra marks as well and the main purpose of this video is to just show you those last few optimization things which I've already shown you individually several times each as we've gone through the course it's just because the projects coming uh, close to the due date I wanted to make sure I kind of brought them up one more time and then reminded you that this list is in FOL and when you're wrapping it up it would be a good idea to go through and look at the things on this list and make sure that you, you've covered them now a lot of people keep asking me about the fifth P and this is the one thing that I don't really demonstrate per se in video format or in my lectures. Everything else is demonstrated. The fifth P is where a little bit of creativity is going to kick in. Okay, so the fifth P, you would have to come up with some ideas, maybe via some unique plugins that are creating. I just saw somebody in this class, she'd, she'd set up a small forum in her site using one of the forum plugins so that people can get in there and start to chat back and forth with each other. 
Okay, that engages the user. You can engage them with some sort of contest where you sign up on the website, but stuff then occurs off-site. You can have plugins in your widgets that are providing some sort of functionality that's just making your site a little more interactive than somebody else's. You can use the comment fields in WordPress to actually generate some sort of testimonials or feedback, all that type of stuff. Now, your contact forms that I'm asking for a couple versions of up here for six points, those will not get you points in participation. Once you get down to the very bottom and these last 10 marks are there, you gotta do what you can to come up with some ideas to engage the user. Those of you that have bothered to go and set up WooCommerce in your website because you actually had the idea that you might retail some products on there if you launched it, that's definitely a user engagement tool. Putting a store on your website gives people a reason to come back. Okay, that's what it's all about, adding value. So the fifth P, which is participation, is gonna be a category that maybe at the end you're gonna try and just throw some extra bells and whistles in there. But I, I wouldn't make that your mission for the last few days before your site is due, right? It's my focus, as you can tell by the points, with this 15 here and this 20 here, and then the four, two, and two, that's all about content. And I provide you with points up here for categories and tags, which is another thing I kept reminding you of. You have to optimize those in here for a few marks. And if you don't have them, you're, you're gonna lose double marks because you won't have them to optimize and you also won't have earned the points for having decent categories and tags. There's a separate lecture on categories and tags and blogging with categories and tags in my playlist. There's an entire lecture on the SEO plugin and how to properly use that. I noticed a few of you still aren't really doing that yet. So just make sure you go back to this list. Whatever you think you're missing in the last few days before it's due, there is stuff on FOL about it. And if you don't like my videos, I'm sure there's 200 more videos on the same stuff I lecture on on YouTube. So that's kind of my last SEO lecture, covering a few things and just making sure you're comfortable with the project breakdown. And at this point now, I can just answer questions. So see you later.